Tango slicer trick you don't know, probably. How to use mixed support. In this video, we'll teach you one hidden gem in Tango slicer. How to use a combination of smart support and bar support for a better printing result. This trick is very useful when you use the smart support filter function to filter out some short supports, but can't add them back manually with the same support script. Or you have some smart supports generated on the upper surface of the part, and you want to get rid of them for a better surface quality. Scene 1. Manually add bar support where short smart supports get filtered. After we apply the option filter out short supports, you'll notice these short but necessary supports are gone. If we manually add the support anchor points and apply, the result will remain the same because the algorithm filtered out all supports shorter than 3 mm. In this case, we could use bar support to manually add these missing supports. Choose one bar support script. Click on Edit Support, add anchor points, and apply. You'll see the supports have been added successfully. Scene 2. Replace smart supports generated on upper surface with bar support. Sometimes, after we generate support using smart support scripts, you'll notice that some supports are generated on the upper surface of the part. If we want to get rid of them for a better surface quality, we could replace them with bar support. Click on Edit Support, delete the anchor points of the supports you don't need, and apply. Choose one bar support script. Click on Edit Support, add anchor points, and apply. You'll see the supports have been replaced successfully. Thank you for watching.